Hi guys, there's some really interesting presentations and uh, glad that you guys are sticking around for us. Uh, we are the team of Tarsier Inc. and uh, we have a few members missing today, but we'll definitely be showing you, uh, sh so showing you some really interesting technology. Um, the technology we've developed is called MoveEye, and it's actually a set of uh, low-profile eyewear that you wear that actually allows you to interact with your TV as if it was a giant touchscreen that you, you can interact with a diff from a distance using intuitive hand gestures. So since we debuted the technology last year, we actually received a, a, a quite tremendous, uh, um, we, we received quite a tremendous uh, um, media attention for the, for the debut and actually were written about by um, PC Mag, Backworld, Discovery Channel, uh, uh, CNN Money, Yahoo Finance, uh, VentureBeat, GigaOM, several news organizations, many more uh, have written about us and we're definitely taking that momentum and moving into a big deal for us which is our launch at CES in Las Vegas in 2014. And I'll turn it over to Danny to, to give us a, a little heads up on how we got here. So we've been working on the technology for about four years now. And uh, so we were able to make our first public debut at Demo in Silicon Valley uh, last year. And that really accelerated our development. And so for the last year, we've been able to accomplish a lot. We've developed um, our, first, you know, our first hardware, which uh, we should be getting the prints back in the next couple of weeks here. Um, we've greatly expanded the number of gestures and the uh, capabilities of MoveEye. And then we've also started working on our own um, UI that really shows off uh, the full capabilities of the system, since there isn't really anything out else out there like it right now. So we want to show uh, a little taste of each of these areas. So first, we'll hand it off to Lee to show you um, a little bit of the back end of our system. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to hold the mic for him. <laughs> Well, I'll just start. So before we actually, uh, we, we couldn't bring our living room here, so uh, we're actually going to play a video for you in, in a moment. But before we, we do that, I, I wanted to show you the, the background, kind of the, I mean, this is the real demo, um, the live part. So I'll, uh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> so this is the prototype that we're working with currently. Um, it's just two webcams. So this is the stereo cameras and as you can see up here this this left image is what the camera sees and if I here, so if I uh, if I put my hand up in front of this we can get information um, such as the center of the palm and the the wrist and the the, the fingertips which which hand it is and uh, using using this high level information we can program gestures uh, and we've done this using some uh, some cool machine learning techniques and you can see the results of that here um, Shafa will take you through a, a video that we've prepared to uh, to actually show off all all the gestures there you go. so here's a video that you can actually check out on our website as well um, it was uh, basically a culmination of a lot of um, effort on our prototype to kind of showcase the point of view aspects and how important it is to get your perspective into account when using gestures. And so, um, you know, using a set of glasses, you can see Axel here is, is uh, using a set of um, uh, futuristic move eye lenses. And um, this, this is actually actual interaction with the prototype. So all point of view usage of the uh, technology is, is actual usage. Uh, you can see here he's just reaching out, imagining he's grabbing a steering wheel, steering the car, and uh, zooming into Google Earth, and here he's just playing a video game. Uh, obviously, we're trying to showcase the living room aspect of the technology, so you can see <laughs> uh, now he's um, browsing through some Netflix stuff, and we're showcasing how you would input some text from a distance. Now, all this is, is really taking into, ac into account your perspective, your point of view. So where you see yourself interacting is exactly where MoveEye understands that you want to interact with. So uh, rewinding here through a video. Um, so just reaching out and there's a, a, a pause gesture. This is a, a media interface call, called Boxy. We're able to tap into that and actually uh, reprogram some of it to work well with our, our technology. Um, even kind of fully functional with Windows 8. Here's, I think this is uh, Netflix as well through Windows 8. 
Now this is a really, really interesting thing. Now repurposing uh, 3D technology, we were able to create this this uh, scenario where you know you can play these multiplayer games in, in a really engaging way, where you're both viewing a full screen view of uh, of your player, and you're playing against one another because the the passive 3D lenses are actually shuttering out the information that the other is viewing. Um, so here's an example of Danny actually flying uh, on Microsoft Flight. He's just kind of uh, pulling up to go up and and um, operating that exactly how you would operate a plane. Um, we've even tapped into all of the uh, newest touchscreen games because uh, our technology is able to kind of replicate that and open up uh, you know, the entire uh, Google App Store, for example, to your TV. So uh, uh, to this date, uh, there's no other technology that has that ability to kind of create this non-relative um, interaction experience. And here's a really unique and interesting futuristic um, uh, uh, simulation of how the technology really uh, is useful with with 3D and and, um, and uh, motion parallax 2.5D to visualize um, and actually actually kind of test out how something would look in your house, you know, prior to actually getting it. Um, here again is uh, is Google Earth and um, and you know back to uh, Google Books. So we'll actually cut off here and send it over to uh, Paul to talk about the hardware. Uh, so to begin our our general vision of new gesture interaction, we have been using this crude set of cameras mounted on a pair of cheap sunglasses kind of a thing. But we have this dream of sort of embedding the system completely in a pair of glasses like this. So we've developed these boards that we just had up. Um, and the first one to the left is a development board that we started with. And then you can see that we've come a long way down um, in size, and so these things are to scale, and we have this final prototype over here to the right that is fully wireless and and can stream stereoscopic um, video. So I'll pass it off to Rod. So the the cool thing about the MoveEye platform is it really represents a new a shift in a, in paradigm for how you interact with your TV and with your computer. Um, so not only are you interacting with objects in 3D, modeling normal human interaction, um, <clears throat> but because it's 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 relative to where you are to the TV, you can have the exact same experience no matter where you are compared to the screen. Um, so we've been playing with apps, games, all the way to um, engineering software and 3D models. And it really it changes the way that you interact with your computer and how you see things and visualize um, different media and content. So you know, with that, we'd like to thank you for sticking around and listening to us. Um, and if you want to check us out on the web, tarsierinc.com. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you at CES in uh, January. So thank you. And thanks, uh, Mini Star, for putting this on.